This is how that. much assembly this next item takes. You just put those little racks or those little hooks over a door, and guess what? Voila! You can. Ex it's like an accordion. And all of a sudden, you've got room for how many shoes, would you think? Well, okay, so we say 21 pairs because we, there are seven levels, seven shelves, and we say three across. But really, if you're talking ballet flats, if you're talking flip-flops, you're going to hold a lot more. My daughter, my nine-year-old daughter compared to, you know, me, you can hold a lot more shoes. So really, you should focus on 30 pounds of storage. And you know, we're talking about shoes and we're showing you shoes, but I know a lot of people that use these for other things like than shoes. So this is the over-the-door uh, shoe rack, and I think the only thing wrong with our over-the-door shoe rack is that we call it a shoe rack when it's <laughs> an everything rack. You're going to follow the same journey that I did, which is you're going to get it home. You're going to see that you can organize a space within minutes. Within minutes, you get your shoes off the floor and on the door, and then you're like, oh, I want it in my pantry. And then I want it in my powder bathroom. You can have this in your pool cage because it's actually powder-coated steel. Oh, yeah. Let me open it up so you can see my favorite thing do you see it's only seven and a half inches off the door so when you're opening that up in those powder bathrooms you're not losing any space at all but you're getting 30 pounds of storage so i actually have two on the same door one that's in my mudroom and on the other side my garage <gasps> so so cool two, 60 pounds of storage and before that all that door was doing is opening and closing and all of this was just air air just nothing wasted and all the shoes were piled up and you look know. at how light it is still because of the way it's engineered, you Good don't point. have to worry about it being too and heavy. And this is a key. See the way that's designed? So it does attach to the underneath the door too, so it doesn't go banging exactly. and clanging around. Exactly, so when you get home, let me show you that. I love that you can see that. That's what's gonna protect your door. So when we were at home Skyping, I would show and demo this on my white doors that had glass panes. I remember that. I, hundreds, uh, probably hundreds sometimes, right? Yeah. Not one mark on my door. No kidding. Not one mark. So you never have to worry about and this And that one damaging. broken glass pane. Not one broken, <laughs> nothing bang or clanging. In fact, listen to this. I want you to hear it. You, it needs WD-40. <laughs> like my door at home. But it doesn't bang or clang because of the way it's engineered. 30 pounds that's perfectly placed right there in the middle. And all you had to do was hang a hook over a door. That's it. Let me go through colors because, first of all, these are under $50. I think first time I've ever seen that, even when it was a Today Special, I think one time. Um, we do have it in the uh, platinum that you see on the door. Let me double check. We have black. What other colors do Antique, we still have? Oh, they're right here. Uh, vintage, vintage bronze, white, white, and black. Vintage bronze, black, and, and platinum. And then platinum okay. right there. And I do love, this is how they come, but this is when I called it an accordion, because it's like, whoop. That's it. That's, that's how, you how do. it opens. So what you do is you take it, you're going to get these little hooks over here. You can see it goes right over the front of the door, over the door there. It fits. I have not seen a door. It doesn't fit. They're very, they're generously sized. And then... I'm gonna take it here and show you. You just simply, it even says top front. Do you, I love that. Because remember, I don't wanna read directions. And there are no directions. You get it home, all of a sudden I can organize 30 pounds of stuff. And then move it. Take it down, move it to my powder bathroom. Yeah. Take it down. Wherever you need the storage, you have it. I love this for guest bedrooms. Because maybe you're gonna use this in your powder bathroom and then you have guests come and you don't want to use that space all of the time for a guest room, right? So why invest in a huge dresser system when, boom, you have a dresser just you like this. You could put towels Towel. or linens, exactly. pillowcases, I mean, maybe a blankets or throws. Oh, I love that. But all the ideas are up to you. I mean, in fact, I know in bathrooms, I think I've seen pictures of people putting toilet paper rolls. That's what I, yes. Other things, maybe it was your place. It was toilet paper rolls. You can put, um, remember Blow dryers. Exactly, extra shampoo and conditioners. Yeah. All of the big, because I shop the big box stores. Uh -huh. I want to have something always on hand. There are three of us girls there. Yeah. We go through shampoo and conditioner like nobody's business. Now I can do that. You can see it's oversized. Why do we have seven shelves? We did this. This is a great new design that we did because a lot of times when you're opening this up, especially if you're going to use this in an entryway, you might have a bench. So when people were opening up, they were having a hard time. It would got not open up. It. Would use it. So now you've got that space. You're it's wasting so, no space on the bottom. That's so interesting. I didn't realize because yeah. it used to be so we have we, we also have that one, but we wanted to give you this one got because it. you're able to have that full space on if you have any kind of a cart or any kind of a bench. You've got that space there. Do you have children that are in sports by chance? Oh, look Who require yes. different footwear, oh. different equipment, pads, all kinds of, you know, things. Even theater, my daughter has shoes there everywhere. There you go. Everywhere. Costumes, all the things. 
That's why I feel like that door that leads from the bath or the garage into the house. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, is that valuable space that you should be using? My, we had a, it was so funny today. It was we. I have mine on, and I put my extra to, um, not toilet paper, my trash can bags in there. And I let my nine year old. I'm like, go get a trash bag, and she's like, no, I can't. I can't. I, it's not there. It's not there. And I said, open it up, and she's like, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. I have. You know, you're doing something right <laughs> when your nine year old appreciates organization, and this is a great way to get them organized. So my other daughter has it in her closet. She has all of her shoes. Then she does have some handbags. So it's, I know we call it a shoe rack, but it really is an everything rack. My favorite one, the favorite review I read is, because uh, you can mount these on the door if you want, or on the wall, I should permanently. say. Permanently. Yep, you can mount them permanently if you want. It comes with the hardware. So my favorite thing is she actually has a huge closet and she put three up on her wall. Oh. So she has a wall of shoes. I'm like, I need to be that girl's that best friend. That is super smart. How beautiful would it be to open up and have all of your shoes so they're protected. We bought our shoes because we they're expensive. Mm -hmm. And we bought them because we loved them. Mm -hmm. When you have them on the ground, they're going to get dirty. Mm -hmm. They're going to be knocked around. Oh. You're going to forget you have yeah, them. Yeah, and you don't want them piled up on a, in, a, in a mound because that's going to hurt your shoes. It damages them. Exactly. They already take enough wear and tear. The heels, too. Look yeah. at how these heels are all, all protected and stay out of the way of others. So whether they're high heels or they're s casual shoes or they're a combination of purses and handbags and scarves and things like that, it, it's really a, yeah. yes, we call it a shoe organizer, but we get ideas from you of places that you use them in your own. All you need is a door, a door. It doesn't matter what door to what room. You can put one of these on one side, and if you want to do what Rebecca did, put one on the other side too. Talk about maximizing space that's just been wasted. Something I wanted to show you too that, because it's the number one question we get, like what size shoe? All the way up to the Mac Daddies. It's big because it only is seven and a half inches off the door. But do you see how we do it? We store it at an angle. So that's 12 inches. That's a full foot. So even the big shoes are going to be able to fit here. Crafters love it. Number one reason they love it is because that big oversized crafting paper fits perfectly in here. Oh, that's a great thing to know. Yes, it's perfect awesome. for crafting paper. The other thing I like about the design is it's mesh. So not that my oh. shoes stink. <clears throat> <laughs> I do too. I'm, <laughs> call it like it is. I mean, I mean, they do. But I do like that it's breathable. So if, if it is, I'm saying really, in particular, like can I show sports you shoes cool? and things like that. Those can be smelly after they get off the soccer field and there's grass all over the place. I know, but I love that you brought up the mesh because that's one of the number mm -hmm. one things that makes a big difference is you see that we do meet that mesh in the back. So ah, nothing will ever fall out. You point. see, they can't yeah. fall out. So that was the redesign. We actually sold this first without the mesh meeting in the back. We listened to you. You love the mesh so much. It's a real strong, durable mesh that we had it meet through the back. Then you have the accordion on the side so nothing falls out the side. So even if you have baby shoes or um, things that would roll off, it's not gonna roll off. It's gonna stay put. Powder coated steel. This is powder coated steel and a strong durable mesh. So if you have stinky shoes or maybe for me, and I told you I keep it in the garage. So if it gets oily, dusty, dirty, I put my lawn mowing shoes in there. So it could be all See? the lawn mowing climbing. You can just hose this down and let it yeah. air dry. And it won't rust, chip, or corrode. And you can permanently mount this on a wall in addition to using it over the door. It does come with the hooks as well. And I was thinking in the garage, if you've got things like, you know, fertilizer and things for your gardens and your plantings and your you know equipment and your shovels and things like that you can use this in so many different ways we do have all four colors right now just letting you know but this clearance price these are moving very quickly tonight white is the most popular and is the most limited that's the pewter we have the vintage bronze it's like a beautiful dark dark espresso wood color Rich. and then we do have it in black um, do we have the dimensions on this just to give, not that like any door is going to not accommodate this, but. Right. It will fit any door. The big, most important thing is it's only seven and a half inches off yes. of the door. Okay. Um, and that it will hold 30 pounds. That's the other really important thing. Good you deal. say 21 pairs of shoes, but depending on the size of shoe that you're using, just know it's going to hold 30.8 shoes. Or 30, 30.8 <laughs> pounds. Pounds. Can I show you some? I know. I'm gonna, that it's, was it's 154. It's one. <laughs> 30.8. Oh, 
point eight shoes. Thank you. <laughs> Do you see the, sh the, the boots here though? You're protecting your That's shaft a too. That's a great idea. I saw this earlier, I meant to mention it. Right. Why they are cute so is, too. Are they, oh, these really are cute. really Charles by Charles David. <laughs> they're so check that cute. Out. But I love that they're protecting that yeah. shaft because a lot of times, especially if you have them on the ground, that shaft bends over, you get the crease. Here you can protect yeah. that. So it does protect your investment but it's gonna get you organized and in seconds. Remember, if I can <laughs> grab it really true. quickly. Yes. It's gonna to come to you just like this, right? You're gonna put the hook over the door and you are just going to open it up. So it takes you longer to go and get the shoes than it does to put it together. <laughs> like probably 15 seconds to be able to put it up and then all of a sudden you get organized. That's why you're gonna follow the same journey I did and so many thousands of others have done, which is you get it, you get your shoes on there, and then you're like, oh, now the big box in my pantry. Now my laundry room. Now we have pool cages. People, because it's, remember, it won't rust, chip, or corrode. Right. So they use it's it. powder If coated. you have a door, you now have a way to store 30 pounds. I wonder what, I mean, in a pantry. I was yes. just thinking about, you know, boxes of like, I don't know, your Macaroni rices and, and mac and, yeah. Oh, you know what? Somebody actually said they use this for their Andrew Lessman vitamins. And oh, I thought wow. that was so smart too. That is so good. Because you get those big vitamins and then you forget where you put yep. them or you just yep. out of sight, out of mind. Yep. Here, they're right here in the morning. You grab them. That's a really good idea. And put it back. Absolutely. So here again, sky's the limit. We're you know, there's just nothing better than that feeling of getting things, getting rid of stuff that you don't need, you know, getting rid of the clutter, pitching it, whether it's the garage, I don't know what room to start in first. I think maybe <laughs> the, this room, that closet. That closet. That closet. You know, the front entryway closet was a big thing for us because this is, because it's mesh, um, we don't need it here, but in Minnesota for just the mittens alone to lay them out and get the, to the aeration to dry yeah. is great. But think about the areas where you have that catch-all. The entryway, I think, is the number one place you should always have um, just corral the chaos, I like to say, because when you step into your home and the first thing you have to do, if you don't have this, is step over shoes, you're entering your house already like, so frustrating. It's frustrating. And stressed. Right. And I mean, if I trip over somebody else's shoes, I'm going to be like. You get angry right yeah, away. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want to yell anything. when I first walk in the house. It takes two weeks to start a new um, habit. So with my girls, if it did take about two weeks, I'd say, no, 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 no. We do a joke around off the floor, on the door, off the. F they don't even question anymore. It's not That's even a awesome. thing. They walk in, they take their shoes off, and they put it on the door. Good deal. So Good for you. It's re it just is. It makes your you feel better. Makes your house look better. Yeah. And then you can enter your house after a hard day of work, not stepping over other people's shoes. It's just put it away. Yes. You know, put it where it and belongs. And this literally takes like two seconds <laughs> to Did do. Show you? White is almost well, definitely going to sell out first. But this is it. It doesn't have any assembly. All that you do is put those little hooks over the door, and then you attach this to that, and then voila, there That's you go. That's it. 